Hello guys, the Doctor Who here, and today I've got some, well, I've got a 1.5, really an overview of it. And if you did not know, 1.5 is now out, as you can see right there, that's 1.5. And yeah, so let's kind of take a look. From the start screen, you can already tell that the texture pack button's missing. Um, if you didn't really play, or if you didn't really watch my snapshots videos, you now know that the texture pack video, or, well, I'll tell you. Texture packs has been added in down here, so you could change texture packs from in-game if you chose. What am I doing right now? Wow. I don't think I prepared at all. <laughs> awesome, look, this is cool. So I was just kind of going to go over really the huge fixes and stuff they added in. It's mostly all the stuff from the snapshots, but I'll just do a quick little overview for you. So, first thing is, um, abandoned mineshaft, supposedly now, um, items will spawn in minecarts, um, mine chest minecarts instead of chest. Um, nether orts can now be found, and it's as common as iron in the overworld, and if you, that's just about an average for you guys. Um, yeah, it drops nether quartz, and you can make it to make stuff like this. Um, if we look in here... All of this is made from... That's what it looks like. Here, let's take a look. You'll find this only in the nether. And there it is. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And when you break it, you get nether quartz. And then you use that to make a whole bunch of stuff. Um, what else? Zombies, um... They now alert other zombies within the radius of the player. So if a zombie sees you, he'll alert other zombies. And, um... They do more damage as they lose health. When they're on fire, they can set you on fire, and they now become aggressive and come towards you when you shoot from farther away. So if you're trying to just snipe off zombies, they get angry. Um, slimes, slime rates, um, slime rates, slime? Wow, let's talk. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. Slime spawn rates now depend on the moon phases, which I didn't even know there were moon phases, quite frankly, but apparently there's moon phases. And slime spawning depends on that. So I'd assume um, full moon equals more slimes and so on. But that's just a guess of how that works. Skeletons can now shoot from 16 blocks away instead of 10. Um, they can now shoot faster when the target's closer. I did demonstrate that in my snapshots better if you wanted to see this. Um, they shoot players one block away. Okay, well, they already did that. But I'm just looking off the wiki. What else? Hang on, let me see. Um, uh, mobs no longer walk on rails. Okay, so the, no, all mobs will try now avoid rails unless they have to. So pigmen won't annoy the heck out of you when you're trying to make things. Um, they no longer... Um, oh, you no longer dismount when you, you... If you were riding a pig, you would no longer dismount now once you log off. That could be annoying to some people. Uh, that's really all with the mobs. Yeah, okay, so let's look. Um, here's more. Um, creating an infinite water source no longer needs a block underneath, which is super cool. Uh, I can demonstrate this real quick. So, um, say you had an ocean. Oh, potatoes. So say you had an ocean. We're going to make an ocean real fast. And it's two blocks, and you wanted to take the two blocks... Whoa, water. Let's calm down and get not as crazy. Um, boop, ba doop, ba doop. Uh, that was my phone. Who else needs it? And as you can see, this is all good. Now, supposedly, what should happen is when I take this, it's too deep. I take one, and... Hi. Did I think this right? Maybe not. It should no longer do that. Hi, water. This was the idea. Okay, let's see. Let's grab a bucket. Okay, okay. Boom. See, perfect. It doesn't make that annoying flowy thing anymore. It fixes itself, which is super nice. Even if it's too deep, as you saw there. Um, the lava texture has been updated, has it really? Let's take a nice little look. Uh, looks a little, maybe a tiny bit more orange, but I can't really tell. So that's that. I'm pro. Look, it didn't even burn down that house. Um, they added lock chests. 
Um, you should have known that. If you want to see more about those, they're in my snapshots. Um, dispensers can now equip armor. They can activate TNT when you fire them. They can use bone meal. They can face all six directions, including up and down, which is really, really cool. So, look, now it's facing up. If I dig down a little bit... Uh, oh. Okay, gravel, let's not be here. And it's facing down. So now you can make a lot of cool traps with that. You can put armor on yourself if you're touching it, which is an awesome little feature. Um, it works with comparators. Pretty much everything... Um, most things that have an inventory now work with comparators, too. And if you don't know what a comparator is, it's pretty complicated. I can't really explain it right now, but I plan on doing... Well, I'm gonna be doing a series soon, starting next week. All about the new redstone changes, so if you'd like... If you're interested in that, you know, let me know. Tell me what you don't really understand, and I will be happy to try and include that in what I do. Um, what else? Let's see... Bone meal was nerfed, unfortunately, kind of sad, but on the bright side, um, the beacon, they have been buffed, because now um, you get 10 more blocks. It used to be 40 blocks, now it's 50 blocks with a four-layer beacon, and oh my god, look at them. Hang on, let's see if we can make them angry with the whole new bow thing. Um, get out here, get out here. Okay, guys, they're, they're evil. He's angry. I'm shooting you from far away. Hello? Hello? He's after the villagers. Look, they got the door and everything. They used to just keep banging on it and they never get it. That's awesome. It's cool. That, I guess they worked on that. Um, the sandstone double slab has been added. And, uh, well, I guess you, can, you place two sandstone slabs on top and it's supposed to make a block. We've seen that before. Snow which they did a really cool thing with snow, where you can actually make a ton of different layers now. So here's snow one, two, three, and you can keep building up the blocks and stuff. So you can make really cool things with this. Check this out. And what I think a really cool feature that could be added is when it snows, you can build these layers up. I'm not sure if that is a feature or not, but that'd be cool. And this is cool. What's really cool is you can make things that look too tall, but you can actually, well, let's see if I know... See, I can still go up this. It, it looks too tall, but I can go up it. So, that's a cool little feature. And I can make a block and a half, and I should still be able to jump onto that. As opposed to... Well, I don't know how much a block and a half is, but... That. That's a block and a... Huh? Yeah, I can jump onto that. Which is more than a block. So, if you didn't know, Steve can actually jump higher than a block. And these villagers, they're getting massacred! It's awesome! It's all on camera! Um... They added all that cord stuff. Um, you can now, with netherrack, you can craft that into nether brick and create nether... No, you can craft that into nether brick. Literally one brick. Then four bricks will get you nether bricks, which is sweet. Um, there's a bunch of redstone stuff that I'm really not going to get into because it's really all complicated. Uh, let's see. Um, Minecarts with TNT now, which is a really cool. Um... They added the hopper, hoppers are pretty, they added droppers, which is now a way to drop arrows without shooting yourself, which is sweet. They added a daylight sensor, a block of redstone, this guy, who actually emits a redstone signal. Um, an activator rail, which will light off TNT when you launch it in your little cart guy. Um, fix stuff with language. It's renaming spawn eggs now. You can rename spawn eggs and it'll make guys that... Or name that. So if you wanted to have a pet in, say, a creative world, named Jerry, you'd name, you'd rename him Jerry, then you'd place him down, and Jerry would be right over his head. And that'd be really cool. Um, the death messages have now... Death messages. Method, messages. That rolls off the tongue kind of funny. You try it. Don't laugh at me. Um, death messages have been all... Um, they're more... They look better. That's the easiest way to explain it. Really what it is is they're more precise, they explain better. So, here's an example. Um, player wa walked into a cactus while trying to escape from a player or mob. It's stuff like that. It's, they got pretty advanced. They're pretty cool, actually. Look at the hordes of them. It's awesome. Um, what else? They added a lot of commands, which are 
like a scoreboard feature, which is pretty sweet. That's more for other things. Texture pack is already in. Um, and supposedly, here's the thing I was... Well, one of the things I was most excited about out of everything is this whole... They supposedly fixed the lighting engine, and I should have set up a little test, but it'll be better because now we know my exact reaction. So, as you... If you play Minecraft and you care about trying to make things like this where you put slabs on the roof and you're like oh it looks so nice but it turns black all of a sudden like it'll these would all turn black and they're not doing it anymore or stairs let's find stairs these are sandstone they match if you'd put them up see there's still a little bit of black but I think that's actually shadow it's no longer horrible it's still it's I can see it a little bit but it's kind of fixed yeah it's just it's not the huge black thing that it used to be. That's that's a definite improvement. So, uh, there. It's a plus. So, the lighting engine is supposed to be fixed. It's supposed to be better now. And I'm going to be doing a series on the redstone, if I, I did mention that. So, yeah, guys. Leave your feedback and anything else you'd like to leave. Just, you know, put it down and I'll read it. <laughs> That's about it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.